Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another music reaction. Alright, today I'm going to be reacting to Voice Play's rendition of Hoist the Colors from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so this is a fairly new performance on uh, presentation of theirs, I believe, that you guys have been recommending to me um, over the past, I don't, I don't know exactly how many days, it hasn't been too long, but I've been kind of, kind of out of it for the past week and a half or so. I've been pretty sick, um, and this is also going to be kind of my first um, jumping back into music reactions after being <laughs> out and ill for quite some time. Um, you know, it probably won't seem quite as long to you guys as it will to me because I try to like film a few things at once and so I, I on days that I feel better or feel good overall so that I have like a collection of of things that I'm ahead of time and it's a good thing that I did because if I hadn't I would have been really far behind I think there probably there was only a couple days that maybe um I ended up missing and not having videos for but but yeah for me it's been a good couple of weeks since I was sitting down and actively filming and stuff um had had quite a few days in bed there so I've just had this respiratory infection that at first you know I was still filming and kind of pushing through and it was frustrating me but it wasn't so bad and then it took a turn for the worse and I was just I was I was in bed for quite a while but um, I'm still not like fully out of it or myself I'm still not feeling super great but much better much better than I was and I'm able to be here so um, I'm excited to get back into my music and into my reactions with you guys and this is one that you guys have been recommending and I you know thoroughly enjoyed the Pirates of the Caribbean movies at least you know I the first three. I've only seen the first three. Um, I haven't seen any after that. I don't know exactly how many there are at this point, but I do remember this song. Um, and I'm really curious to see how this plays out. I feel like this is a song that is very suited for an acapella performance. And um, the last performance of theirs of voice plays that I, I reacted to, um, Oogie Boogie song was very theatrical. So I'm kind of anticipating that sort of thing as well, but we'll see what happens. Um, just to let you guys know, like I said, I'm still not feeling super great. Co so um, I don't know how much in the way of analysis you're gonna be getting out of me. I'm not a huge analytic music reactor. Anyway, I tend to focus more on you know, just things that I like and how they make me feel, but I'm really just going to try and relax and have a good time and seem to try and, and, and take my mind off of things with this. So hopefully you won't mind that too much. That's the kind of reaction I'm going for. So let's check it out together. Voice play, voice the colors. Here we go. The king and his men Ooh. stole the queen from her bed. Ooh, get that, uh, oh, let me get rid of that eye, ah. Ooh, oh, ooh, okay. All right, I liked that. Ooh, I like the little raspiness that he added there. Ooh. God, I love this. I love it. I love it. Woo! There's that deep bass. I <laughs> just got a skeleton sitting there in the background. Oh, I like that, the sound of the chimes. It sounds like chimes. Oh, his voice is beautiful. I love this, the... Yeah. Yeah, there's that raspiness I was talking about. I like that. Oh, 
he's giving up like some really like 80s song vibes like I'm saying like journey or something <laughs> You see that? That's what I mean. That's like a, some journey or foreigner type of <laughs> Sorry. I love when the red color comes in. Okay, that was fantastic. That was kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Like I said, I just wanted to like have a good time and relax and dance along and get caught up in a fun performance and that is exactly what it was. So it was perfect, just what I hoped for. Um, so I, I did feel like with Oogie Boogie's song and some of you guys commented on, I was very much focused largely on, on Jeff's performance because I get really into the bass but also it just seemed like he was kind of the centerpiece of that performance whereas this time um, it was very much more shared and spread out throughout uh, everybody who was performing here everybody that was there um, and kind of highlighting their different strengths which was cool um, I liked the different makeup that they had so um, the I don't know his name, and I'm sorry, you guys could fill me in on the different guys' names. Maybe, maybe I know Jeff's because of his individual performances that I've reacted to and have been recommended to me um, on YouTube. But the guy, um, I liked how he had all white on, and then he also had the, the white eye, the dead eye with the scar going through it. And it also kind of contrasted him to the rest of the group when he was doing more of the, the like, the higher pitched and also just kind of uh, melodic, I guess the more melodic higher pitched uh, part. And then you had the other guy who had the scars on the, the sides of his head um, and he really like, he had like the raspy tones in his voice, kind of like mine right now, but you know, his is intentional as what what he was going for with the song, not just, not just you know, being sick, um, but, but, and the way that he like projected and, and was performing certain notes like am I the only one that felt like that was very sort of a like 80s bands like like uh like more than a feeling like that sort of thing and, 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 this, and I just you know which was cool I felt like it worked there it worked really well um and then of course you had had Jeff's parts with the the deep bass that always kind of shocks you it's like ah but you know, so they did a great job with all of their costumes um, and and the set pieces, and I also just really like enjoyed how they played around with the lighting. So how sometimes they'd have the colors change to go along with the, you know, the deep um, bass tempo, and especially you'd have the flashes to like all dark red, especially when things got all low. But then you also had kind of the between the blue and the red, you had sort of an intermediate thing where there was just red kind of washing in on some of the sides of their faces and it made it almost look pink. So it was very cool how they played around with the lighting sometimes. And then of course they had the candles and stuff set too. But yeah, I just 
I loved it. It was exactly what I was hoping for. Um, beautiful, fun performance with uh, standout parts for multiple different people. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to imagine like <laughs> pirates, <laughs> pirates <laughs> singing. <laughs> like they're dressed up in pirates, right? But I'm just trying to imagine like a, a pirate a cappella group <laughs> of actual pirates. <laughs> Uh, but it was fantastic. Like I said, it seemed like a good song for an, for a cappella performance, and it definitely was. So I loved it. I'm gonna have to listen to it again. So, um, if you guys have more recommendations for me for performances from Voice Play, you think that I should check out? I really only this is only the second performance of theirs that I've reacted to. So I'd love to hear some more um, recommendations from you guys, or for any anything else or any other performer or group that you'd like me to react to. You know, please do drop them in the comments. Let me know. I've said this before, but I don't always get a chance to read and, um, or not read, but respond to all of the comments. Um, sometimes it takes me a while to even get, get to them. So, but I do end up reading them so I can, I'll, I'll get a chance to see. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here, guys. Thank you for your patience and waiting for me to get healthy again. And thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.